Hello everyone, um, and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I thought it would be fun if I showed you a selection. Oh my god, there's a spider one there. Don't come near me. That's right, it's just a spider. Oh no, it's going on. Oh no, 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 take him up there. Oh, that's right, just a little spider. That's right. Sorry, a little spider. Okay, um, sorry. I thought it'd be fun to show you a selection of mugs. I'm not going to show you all of the mugs that I have because that would be too many to show you in this video and I've got them all put away in cupboards so it'll be a bit of an ask, a bit of a faff to take them all out. And all the other mugs I've got are teaware I only take out on special occasions like when I've got relatives around, which hardly ever happens but I have them there just in case. I sometimes take them out when my support worker has tea with me as well. Um, but as I say, and I've got like um, a polka dot uh, tea set but that's all, put, that's all in one of my cabinets. So I'm not going to show you that because that's... that's I don't really want to get them out because they're like my kind of like my special um, my special uh, tea wear. So I'm just going to show you today uh, the five mugs that I personally drink out on a regular basis. Um, and I've got them lined up um, next to the wall in the kitchen in order of um, pref in order of, of how of order of use basically because I start the day um, usually with a mug of coffee. Most mornings I have a coffee um, in the morning because um, depending on how well I've slept the night before, I'm usually a little bit groggy first thing and I need a stimulant to kind of boost my alertness. Um, it doesn't always work. <laughs> Um, some days, on, on some days, I, 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 I'm careful with my coffee intake because it, I do need some coffee to give me that, you know, initial like alertness boost, but too much is not a good idea. Um, so usually I will just stop at about one or two mugs. Often in the winter I need about two mugs, whereas in the summer I can usually need one, but obviously if I'm really struggling, like I have hardly slept, I might need two, and on rare occasions I might need three, but I'll try not to exceed three because otherwise that has repercussions. Even if I'm really very tired, I like no more than three, I just have to plow one now because otherwise we're asking for trouble. And I don't drink coffee after, at the absolute latest. If I'm really struggling, I might have one at about 11, but I really aim not to have any more after that because that will affect me. For, for, it's, it's really just a morning thing for me because otherwise it will affect sleep and stuff. And it'll have but yeah, so first thing, I do have coffee though. So yeah, so I drink out of this, um, do you say latte or latte? I seriously can never remember what, how you say it. <laughs> I just forget how you say it. I don't know. But anyway, this is a, um, is it latte? I don't know, I'm just guessing. Correct me if I'm wrong, I can never remember these things. Um, coffee, um, a tall coffee um, mug. It says, I prickly until I've had my coffee. I hope you can see that. I prickly until I've had my coffee. Um, that's, that's correct for me. I am prickly until I've had my coffee. I'm just like that hedgehog fair. This is why, and also of course, um, I just like the colour of the mug as well. I wouldn't say that's my favourite colour, but I do like it. Um, and I got this mug actually last year for Christmas. I bought it for myself, by the way, because, uh, as I might have explained, I don't celebrate Christmas. I'm not a Christian. Um, I don't do the whole consumerism, giving gifts and stuff. We don't do that as a family. So I buy my own gifts at Christmas and you get exactly what you want and it's a little treat and you don't spend, spend too much money and it's something to look forward to. So, <laughs> so I bought this gift for myself, but I did open it on Christmas and that was fun. Um, yeah, Christmas no longer is stressful for me because I don't celebrate it. So yeah, I've released myself from that. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I think Christmas is just one of the things you don't have to celebrate it, it's up to you. I'm like, oh my god, the stress gets removed if you don't celebrate it. Oh my god, it's amazing. Um, so yes, anyhow, uh, that's all right. But I got that for Christmas last year. And I, and I use this to drink coffee out of um, in the morning. So yeah, one of my favourite mugs. I do like this mug. So that's that one. So this is at the front of the line, because that's the one I go to first. Just put that back. Um, this other mug I'm showing you now, this is also a coffee mug, but a smaller one. I've had this one for a really long time. It's either got a little chip. Actually, where is your chip? I thought it had a chip somewhere. There was a little chip somewhere, I don't know. So. Oh, yes, it is. There it is. But it's you can barely see it. It's such a small little scratch. But, yes, I've had this mug for, um, years and years and years and years. A very long time. Um, and, uh... Yeah, and it's got blackberries on it, and I like blackberries. Um, I think I got this one. Oh, yes, I did. I got it from Lakeland. Yeah, it's a good mug. It's just got a little chip, but that does, that's all right. It's only a small one. You can hardly see it. Um, and I, I use this one for coffee as well. Less so than the other mug. I tend to use this one for fresh coffee. Like, you know, um, coffee that like I use my coffee machine for. I think because with the coffee machine, I'm pouring for coffee. So I like to have it in a smaller amount each time I pour it, which is why I use a smaller mug for this. When I'm using instant coffee, I use Gatul Latte. Uh, mug 
So that one goes next to that. Good next mug on the line. I also got this one for myself last Christmas as well. Well, I actually got this one uh, my Christmas present on myself. Um, that's, a, that's an adult way of celebrating Christmas, I think. Um, yeah, I got this one uh, off um, Amazon um, last year. Um, and yeah, I don't, I haven't used this mug that much since I bought it. I think I mainly use this one in the winter because it's really designed, I think, for hot chocolate. That's kind of really what it's meant for. I mean, it's quite a small hot chocolate mug. Um, but as it says on the front, you know, it says, For some is therapy, for the rest of us, there's chocolate. Chocoholic. All you need is love, but a little chocolate every now and then doesn't hurt. Chocolate doesn't ask questions. Chocolate understands. Given enough chocolate, I could rule the world. I could give up chocolate, but I'm not a quitter. A balanced diet is chocolate in both hands. I've never met a chocolate that I didn't like. Yeah, I just like my yeah, hot chocolate time. Just got, and I like a picture of cake on it. it just wants, makes you want to eat chocolate. That's the one downside. You do want to eat chocolate when you see this mug because it's quite, uh, yeah, it's like saying get cake. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't drink out of this mug that often. I only really like when I'm home hot chocolate because that's what I feel it's meant for. I think I sometimes use, I have used this mug for tea sometimes though as well. But I might, this mug seems to me more like, I don't know why, it just seems more like a winter mug. I guess because like I associate hot chocolate with winter time. So yeah, anyway, it's a pretty mug. I like it. And the other mug that I, I show you now is this tea one. I spent quite a lot of money on this one. This didn't come cheap, I guess, because... And I wouldn't normally spend this amount of money. It actually cost £8. I wouldn't normally spend this amount of money on a mug. Normally, like, I would think, like, three, four pounds You could get bargain mugs down at Tesco's that are pretty good as well. I wouldn't normally spend £8 on a mug. The reason I did was just because I could not resist this one. Um, it's like a retro mug and I'm kind of drawn to retro stuff, I don't know what that's all about. I just love it and it's got like, it says, Builder's Tea, a great British brew, strong and refreshing. So this mug is for Builder's Tea only, I can't possibly use it for anything else. Builder's Tea only, strong Builder's Tea. You can't have Earl Grey in here, you can't have any other tea, it has to be Builder's Tea. Really, ideally with a digestive biscuit. And it's kind of like a breakfast mug. It's the sort of one you might have to drink tea in the morning with baked beans on toast or some other kind of builder's sort of breakfast. Um, I, 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 again, I normally only drink out of this mug in the winter because I still builder's tea feels quite a kind of wintry kind of tea to me. Like Earl Grey is more subtle and summery. So I, I, the last time I drank out of this was in the winter. So I guess it's kind of a winter mug. But I like it. Finally, this green mug here, which I got dead cheap. I think for Waitrose, but I've had it for it's just a basic essential, yeah, essential Waitrose mug. I think it only costs like about two pounds. I've had this mug for years, stood a test of time. It's not very nice to look at inside because it's got tea stains all around it. Uh, nightmare getting them off. I, I just can't be asked for that. So <laughs> it does look a bit, it definitely looks used. See that? Yeah, that's a problem with like pure white mugs. After a while, they do get coated in tea stains. <laughs> but you know, it shows it's been used. So, it's just a basic box standard green mug. Um, I'm, I don't actually tend to drink out tea, of, tea out of here, actually. Um, I, I mainly use this one for, uh, like, infusions, like, in the evening. I think I sometimes have hot chocolate out of this one in the winter because it's quite a big mug. Um, sometimes I have had, like, builder's tea in it sometimes. Um, but mainly I use this, like, in the evening for, like, infusions, non-caffeinated infusions. So that's that one. And I use this one the most. I'm just um, going to show you very quickly. This mug, this, this here, this is a, a teacup and saucer. Um, it's not in my lineup of mugs, I have a kitchen surface, but I do drink out of here quite regularly, so I thought I'd show you. I use this one for my more delicate brews, such as Earl Grey, because it's like very ladylike, this one. It's a nice ladylike cup. And sauce, and I've had this one for years as well. This was just a basic essential one, but I like that one. Okay, and as I say, I've got many, many, many more mugs that I'm not going to show you because these are the only ones I drink out the most frequently, and all the others are I've got set aside for when guests come. I'll go, I do occasionally drink out of myself, but that'll be quite a lot of them, and they will put away, so I'm not going to show you those now. Okay, so um, I hope you enjoyed that um, little uh, uh, tour of my uh, how can you call it? Little um. I don't know, I've lost the words. Well, I, whatever it is, how, uh, I can't speak today. What's wrong with me? What, what was I actually going to say just then? I don't know, I've gone off. Yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed, that's what I was going to say. I hope you've enjoyed 
Um, but, well, I hope you've enjoyed seeing all of my cups, basically. Um, do any of you have um, cups, coffee mugs, things like that that you uh, drink out of in a particular order? Let me know. Okay, so I'm going to be moving on now to the next video where I'm going to be carrying on my review from last week of um, the Superfoods book. So moving on to video number two now.